I don't want to be a part of that, so I'm not working with you. But so I walked away from Weinstein and then homie was did do business with him. When it came down to R. Kelly, there was a conversation had about the moralness, like it's morally wrong to do a project with someone that we know raped my girl or raped anybody for that matter. So I do know that that conversation was had and I was really surprised that he moved forward with that relationship. I, I don't know Epstein, so I never had the chance to walk away from him. But I do know that when that project did come out, I didn't want any part of that project. I didn't want any of the money to go to Rockefeller or me when it came to Rockefeller. It was around the time that Jay was trying to kind of separate himself from us. And he was saying that he didn't want to be a part anymore. And we resolved that issue with, look, if you want, cause he, he wanted me to dilute and he wanted Biggs to dilute. And I wasn't diluting because I know what I mean and what I do for business. And Biggs was ready to dilute, but our OG Deuce from uh, St. Croix kind of stepped in and was like, that's not right. And um, that's how we resolved it. The way we resolved it was, yo, you keep all the money from that project. I don't want no parts of it, the uh, best of both worlds. So, so again, I mean, that is true. Um, but, you know, I just think that, uh, I guess I think homie has to answer some questions right now. But if he doesn't, it just, you know, again, it's gonna make people ask more questions. And me as a person that knew him, you know, I'm very curious to know. The stuff that they say about Aaliyah I mean, I'm human. And when I look at things, like again, a lot of things are weird right now. So I, I'm reflecting a lot. So I'm thinking, I'm like, well, homie might, you know, he was salty a little bit because he was trying to get at Aaliyah and I was trying to get at her. But, and, and I know that there are people that benefited from her death. But I, I, it, for me, when I hear these conspiracies, I'm like, they, how could they be that powerful that they could get a plane or someone to crash a plane? Like, then they just be, I, I, I just, I, I don't want to say I, I, I'm underestimating people, but I don't give people, like, that would be, that's like, yo, that's the most illest gangster shit, some Pablo Escobar, you could actually get a plane to crash. And then, you know, I hear a lot of rumors about me, like I sacrificed her and some dumb shit like that. You know, all those things. It, it, it's hard to, like, I don't want to believe that but it does make me think it through, you know? So again, in this moment, just because there's so much gray area on a legal level, not what I'm suspecting, but like, you know, this shit is now real. Or if it isn't real, people are gonna have to prove that it's not real. And it's, it's a moment where I'm curious, but I, 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 if any of that is true, like, I, I, I'd have to talk to a therapist because I don't know what to, what, what, I don't even know, I, I can't even, I can't even like, I don't even want to go down that kind of a rabbit hole. It's just, it's just too crazy to think that me as a regular dude was in something that was just, you know, so dark, evil, and, and so strong, and, and Paul is powerful, that shit like this could even be almost a reality. Like, like I'm here, like why am, so yeah, it's, it's kind of ill, you know? To, to see the things that affected your life in such a big way for people to have different um, variations of what may have happened for someone that I love so much.